What's going on everybody? I'm Steve. This is Vanderbond's Wildlife. Check it out. We're headed back out. Going out into Tampa Bay today. Got my buddy Ben. Howdy. Hav. What's happening? We're gonna go out and see if we can get into some snapper. Who knows, maybe a keeper gag or something along those lines, but beautiful day today. Minimal wind. Caught some pinfish, got some shrimp. We'll make it happen. Guys, we haven't even got our rigs set up yet. <laughs> oh, don't be a shark. No way, is it? I don't think so, but I don't know. The second, I mean, literally. Don't put I, I cast it out. I... Did he take me under? Are you kidding me? He took you down. What the heck is down there? It could have been a grouper that come up and pulled you back down. Yeah. Well, that was a good fish, whatever it was. Flat line. You want to be able to get him out? He's rocked up right now. 30 grouper. feet of water. But yeah, dude. Whatever structure's down there, those groupers are going straight for it. Shoot! You broke off? No, oh, he's still on. He's just, just giving him giving him some time to get out of there. No, what it is, they flare their gills. That's how they rock down there. In a minute, they let go. First bait in the water. Ha! Huh. That was pretty sweet. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, well, now we're gonna have to try some pinfish because that was the only thread pin we had. Oh, it was a flatline thread pin he hit. Up. Oh. Where's the net? Do we have a net? No, we're good. Yeah, he. I just opened Force the bail guys and let him swim. Come on, be 20 inches. 20 24. Four. 20 for the red. Grab him like a bass, right in the gills. Oh, wait a minute. It's a grouper, it's a gag. Yeah. He's a keeper too. Oh, I don't know. Here, 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 here. Hob right in the gills. I got him, I got him. You barely have him too. He's not a keeper. He's, he's close. Big. He's big, I don't know if he's 24. He's 22. Dude, that stinger, that double whatever rig you got Worked, going on. didn't it? Uh, yeah, because he only got one of the hooks. That's good, though. Dude, look, it was barely hooked. You saw how easy it came out? Yeah. Hey, guys, that's what we came out here for. You want to hold them? It's your fish. Yeah, let me get the measure. Oh, dude, hang on. What the heck happened here? Look, it went like through his Somebody else that's got That's somebody broke else's off. line, dude. Oh, yeah, my. that's an old Oh, line. look, it's 20 pound. <laughs> uh, the disappearing pink Yaziri. That's hilarious. Here, we need to get that out of him before we let him go. Oh, he might be keep, bro. I think he is, man. Brother. Squeeze the I am trying to. He's 23. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> it's all right. Beautiful fish, though. That's what we came out here for. First bait, first live bait. Nice. Good job on the camera. My <laughs> wife is probably still on the phone, and my daughter Ellie's listening. They're on their way back from Michigan. That's why Brandon's not with he us. He ate a flat line thread fin. Came he, up out of 30 up. feet of 30 feet of water. 23 foot. What do you 23 think? Inch fish. One Curl inch that short. Tail down. Dude, I, that is so awesome. I, I, beautiful. We're fish. not gonna get that. You're not no leave it. Just get it, yeah, close, close to his mouth. Want a picture with him? Sure. Here. Let Just me give him a breath. You get your camera. It's that new iPhone 11 Max Pro. Boy, right? you guys, we called that, didn't we? Said probably a gag. Guys, see the rocks, the marks? What they do is they get you right down. Look at that. That's from him. Getting down oh, in the rocks, turning build, sideways, and they just lock in there. <sighs> that's awesome, bro. Beautiful. Hey, let me get a picture of you. Watch out, Benno. Thumbnail, in case we don't catch any more. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. No, dude, we're going to get him. Here. Look, look at, he's scarred up on both sides, just from that one getting rocked up. Big old smile. There you go. All right, guys, let's get back at it. We might have to go catch some more of those thread fins. <laughs> 
I bet you a free line of a pinfish will catch one. Great. Great down. Awesome, man. Nice catch, Well, Steve. we got a Dude, plan. he's on the phone and I see... Nice <laughs> job, Get that rod! Put that bow down! This is, this is what we're after here, guys. We've got plenty of pins, but these little guys right here. Thread fins. Got them? Yeah, they got soft lips. You got to bring them in pretty easy. Hold on. Here we go. Horn belly. Oh, like horn belly. Don't touch him. Ooh, here, yeah, give him the call them? Uh, horn bellies. Yeah. I'll, I'll show you. you why they call them horn bellies. Typically, Easy. you don't want to grab them like that because it hurts, but I can't feel that hand, so I'm good. These guys right here. And they have some sort of a toxin or something on it because, It'll like, now it. I couldn't feel it poking into my skin because I don't have good feeling on that hand, but now I can literally feel it feels like fire shooting up my nerves. No, oh, you caught a sheep, uh, uh, a uh, sea, sea robin. robin. You ever see them, Javi? Yeah. They walk on say. bottom. Yeah, they don't hurt you, do they? No. But yeah, literally now I can feel that fire in my Ouch. hands. The hell they don't. They, they got a very sharp gill plate up around here. But see, they got thorn, like, yeah. spines. You've seen them, right, Javi? Yeah. See, you were, the only yeah. way you caught him is because you were on bottom. Yeah, that's a bad day for that. Coomeran. He's got his head caught between the two pipes. Short step the landing and halfway up. All right, right here. Oh, that's a nice big grunt, dude. <laughs> Holy. That's a stud grunt right there. Heck yeah, bro. That's dinner. That's a good taco right there. It's a nice one. You did the drift, right? Yeah. So now you know right you get, yeah, that's two in a row that you caught doing that. Boy, that's a big one. Put them on ice. So I was paying attention to not getting run over here. I don't even think it would feel it. And then he <laughs> catches dinner. Shredded leader though. Oh my goodness. You just lost one of those from his cousin. <laughs> Throw him on ice, baby. Maybe he's, Heck maybe, yeah. Maybe he's got a white jig. You can him out, right? Mackerel. Nice one, too. Woo! There we go. There you go. That'll work. I know this guy always says, Beat the skunk. There goes my shrimp. <laughs> what was it, a shrimp? He had just barked up a shrimp. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're back at the house. Not a bad day. We did all right. I mean, you know. I've had worse. I've so, had worse days. Here's the deal, though. You were saying something earlier that really so kind of hit home with me. So if you go out and you kill it every day, and you just you just limit out every day, and you, you catch exactly what you're trying to target every single day, you're going to end up taking it for granted. It's not going to be nearly as rewarding. So you have to have some days where you're just a little mediocre. You know, yep. where you have some yep. some decent days you still bring a little bit of meat home you didn't skunk it but compared to those days where you do skunk it it's a good day it is like today when we were an inch short an inch short on a gag 23 inch gag first fish of the day eight minutes into the trip <laughs> yeah but first so, bait out but you know, and then two weeks from now when we go out and we limit out and you know and you get some black fin or you get you know a big pile of gags or snapper or whatever it's going to make those days that much more rewarding yep we got a handful of 15 inch mackerel bigger than the knife and we got a big old 14 inch grunosaurus rex over here <laughs> good tacos for the night yep so it was at least worth it and a lot of times guys it just comes down to this you spend all that money on fuel and bait and here we are we're gonna flay some fish so let's get to it beats a day at work get right in behind that peck fin run down this spine I wait till I'm just past the rib cage here and I'll go the rest of the way through yeah, as well and run this thing right down here come up the ribs once and I like to come some of those fancy guys will cut right over top of the ribs but I'm not, I'm not that fancy. So I'll take the ribs right out with me. 
cut that whole rib cage right off of there. Throw that aside. Nice fillet. Not bad for a grunt fillet. Nope. And they're fantastic. And what I like to do is I actually actually like to leave my knife just a tiny bit high above this and you waste about a sixteenth of an inch of meat mm -hmm. you know an eighth inch of meat but you keep out a lot of bloodline you yep. get a lot of bloodline out of that like do you don't have to thing. you don't have to split it out later now you just check for pin bones yeah. right i always take this little v out you come up and got a nice little row of them right here come right on the back side of that bloodline there's your pin bones out perfect boneless skinless that skin. is nice so here's the thing guys we we like to start our kids young teach them how to fillet a fish you know you've done a lot of filleting so let's get it done girl okay. Okay. Um. that's it make sure you roll there you go roll that blade towards me just like that there you go that's it all the way down to the spine a little further that's it now roll that blade towards the back there you go. Tilt it a little more. A little more. You can feel the bones, right? Now you're starting to move back. You just keep that pressure. Just tilt it up just a little bit more. That's it. So you're not getting resistance from the backbone. Almost flat, but not too flat so that you leave a lot of meat. There you go. Perfect. Roll, roll back towards the bones. You, you got go. it, girl. Watch your fingers are bent. Ben, Move your hand, brother. There That's you go. It, Keep it tilted down. Perfect. Now there you'll you get the feel I'll of it, honey, right every of time. I actually Look did at that. really good. You did it's really good. good. You did, yeah, a yeah. little bit there, but the, you did very good. No big That's deal. all right. You don't have to do that, honey. So get chicken nugget right there. <laughs> <laughs> Chick hey, chicken, chicken of the sea, right? Yep. Yep. <laughs> there, there you go. That's it. Watch your fingers, please. And you push down nice and hard there, get all the way through, all the way through Good that job. skin. Nice. All right, all you got left is these pin bones. You can almost see where they start, you know, where those little white prickly bones are at. There you go, girl. No, just, there you go, lift it up, pull it out. Nip it off. You got it. There you go. High five, girl. Way to go. Thank you, Ben. No problem. Tell you what, she's worked hard at filleting fish, but you know, she's what, you're 14? <laughs> Wait a minute, that's you? <laughs> I have five kids. Sometimes I get their ages mixed they up. Like Ben just turned 21 the other day, and <laughs> he's not even my kid. No. For for real though. You know, you start them young. Most girls are afraid to touch fish. She's been doing this kind of stuff her whole life. And good job. Thank you for teaching her, buddy. No problem. Easy one. All right, so there is a family dinner that. with a handful of mackerel and <laughs> some grunt. Yep. It was an awesome day. We had fun with our friends, and then my family just got back from Michigan, so... <laughs> I'm very thankful, very thankful. They're home and uh, yeah, Ben, here's to next time, brother. Great, hey, next time the only problem we're gonna have is what little space we have in the cooler because we're gonna have too many fish. See, always a positive outlook. All right, guys, well, we're in the kitchen. Hey, Ben, thanks for uh, being patient and showing Ellie how to fillet fish the way you like to fillet them. So she's getting used to handling a knife, but got to start them young. Anyhow, won't be long, she'll be doing it for me, just like Brandon. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna make some marinade for the fish. Now, I wish it was grouper. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. No big ones, so anyhow, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with three quarters of a cup, extra virgin olive oil, fresh squeezed lemon juice. Then we're gonna do one clove of garlic. I actually went with a little bit more. 
one tablespoon of minced parsley. And that, my friends, is basil. We didn't have any dried, so I had some fresh basil and it smells absolutely amazing. One teaspoon, fresh ground pepper, half a teaspoon of fine pink Himalayan salt. Now we're just gonna whisk this stuff up. All right, now I'm gonna pour it into this one gallon bag. Make sure we get all that good stuff in there. All right, now we're gonna take our fillets, drop them down in there. Throw some of them in there. And of course, you know me, I like to leave the skin on. And I just work that and lather them all up in it. Squeeze the air out. Reseal the one gallon bag. We'll put this in the refrigerator. Okay, now we're gonna make a mango salsa. It's gonna be sweet and spicy. We're gonna have jalapenos in it, red pepper, but we gotta go for a road trip. We gotta go see Dora. Dora's got an unbelievable mango tree in her front yard at Grandpa Terry's house, and we're gonna go pick one. Sweetest ones we've ever had. So road trip time, let's go. Check it out, guys. There's the tree. She's got so much stuff in here. That's all new growth, that pretty red stuff. But if you look up, they're all big mamma jammas, some of them. And I'm telling you, these are the sweetest mangoes I've ever had. This guy right here. See how the stem is brown and it's yellow? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go home and make this stuff. Diced up mango. That's gonna go in first. I'm just using this big glass bowl so you can mix the stuff easily now minced jalapeno with the seeds i took some of them out so it wasn't super hot because i know ellie's not a big fan of super hot the rest of us we don't care all right and then diced sweet red pepper minced red onion now guys here's the thing i know it's not a purple onion i always call it a purple onion it's purple to me so i renamed it my family knows what i'm talking about so hopefully you guys catch on too it's a red onion but i call them purple so if you're in the store looking for purple onions you'll be there a while anyway and then we've got cilantro, our fave. And I'll tell you what, there's a lot of juice in that mango. That sucker was ripe. Oh my goodness, does that look yummy. We're gonna use a little bit of lemon. We've already put lemon in the marinade. Boom. And now we're gonna use about twice as much lime. Okay, now we're gonna stir it again. Man, does that smell wonderful.
Okay, now we'll put it in the refrigerator and we're gonna cook our fish. Now, we're just gonna shake the excess marinade off. Turn that down just a little bit. Thanks for the fish, Ben. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. Macro, I'm putting skin down like we always do. Smoke it. Mm, hasn't been very long. But these are thin, thin fillets. So we're just gonna give them a quick flip. Oh yeah, perfect. That mackerel may take a little bit longer. That's a nice grunt. Grunt is so good. Ready to come off. Oh yeah, that looks great. Okay, now we just wanna season it to taste with salt and pepper. Just a little bit. That grunt is gonna be fantastic. Okay. That smells absolutely ridiculously good. All right, guys, I think it's time to dig in. I'm excited. So you guys happy to be home from Michigan? Yeah. 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 It was fun though. Although you guys didn't get to do much with the virus going out. But really things are starting to spike down here. It's scary. I'm thankful my, my family got back and they had a safe trip. Got to see a few people from a distance and but we need to pray that things don't get worse because it seems like they're getting worse. So anyway, speaking of that, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you that Jamie and the children were able to get home safe uh, back and forth from Michigan. And uh, we thank you for all of our many blessings, dear God. We know that everything we have is a gift from you. And we pray that you will guide this country through this virus and through all of the pandemonium and the, the terrible things that are happening. Um, we just pray for patience and people to be kind and loving and love everyone equal because that's what how we were created we're all children of god and he loves us all enough to send his own son jesus christ to die on the cross to save us from our sins and we ask forgiveness of those sins in jesus name we pray amen all right guys dig in grab a fork He was right off the skin. Yes, that's yummy stuff. Look at Ben letting the ladies go first. No, You're a no good room. dude. There's no room. I that's all right. We're, we haven't even brought it to the table yet. These seagulls are digging in. What do you think, guys? Yummy. This is mine. Okay. <laughs> What do you think, Jane? I feel like I'm mixed. What do you think, Al? Well, well since I took the entire plate, <laughs> it's really good. Can you guys taste the jalapeno? Mm -hmm. A little bit of a spice? A very tiny bit. Awesome. And I better stop talking because this girl's pounding it down. Anyways, well, we love you guys. 
thank you so much for letting us be a part of your lives and we uh we welcome you into our life all right guys we're out of here huh whammy